every technology that we have developed as humans has the ability to make us jump in and evolve and also work on the transformation and going inside and going forward in order to acquire new technologies and possibility. It gives us the ability to jump in and evolve. That's why I'm so passionate about technology and also I know that sometimes it gives us some afraid. Per exactly when we start talking about AI. It's a very interesting topic that most of us perhaps don't understand so much, but yes, it's something that makes and give us a lot of emotions. So that's why I'm going to talk today about how artificial intelligence can empower us professionally and personally. So in order to start about talking about this incredible topic, I would love to present to you today three topics important to discuss. Fear, time and dreams. So let's talk about fear. So every time we listen for the first time the word AI, we feel emotion as a fear. But what happened? Why is the reason why it happened as to that, this emotion uh, mostly? Because fear is something that we have personally when it's something that we don't, don't understand perhaps. It comes when some changes are happening, the fear goes inside ourselves and it like block us to go inside, to jump in and also to understand what we can do with this amazing technology. So we can understand that we have perhaps the fear, emotion, because we don't understand the technology. So we don't understand what AI can do. So that's why I think that we as humans, we are very like territorial in nature. We need to feel we have the control in order to take decisions and we need to feel that we have the control in order to be safe. So that's where the fear takes in place. So we first, we try to understand what it means. After that understanding, we can understand the advantage it could give us. It's the first step in order to take the evolution. So I'm going to take you uh, around a story of myself. So um, when I was like around 17 years old and I was in school and they told me, okay, you have 17 and you have to decide what career you want to do for the rest of the life. I have fear, of course. So at that moment, when I start uh, trying to understand myself and I want what I want to study at a very young age, I knew some things about myself. I know I like drawing. I know I like um, creativity. I know I love creating these stories. I know I like technology, but also I know I want to do something to change the world. And at that moment, um, some terms that we use today to listen every time, like user experience, user interface, uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence don't exist at all as we know it right now. So now I can say some years later that I could understand that that fear didn't paralyze me when some years ago I listened for the first time the word AI and I jump in in order to understand it and try to combine very opposite disciplines such as creativity, and design in order to now use it as a main career and passion. So my first career was not AI, it was graphic design. So you could see you are crazy. Yes, that was all my friends said at me at that time. So Camila, you love design, you love creativity. Why you're going to mess up with AI and machines? Because machines needs creativity. It's the soul mainly what they have. So you can combine very opposite disciplines. In my case, I left the, the fear outside. I said, I don't want this in my case. I want to do something, no? Have the chance to not settle and try to do something in order to make this technology our day by day, but also make a world a better place. So the second term I would like to discuss today is about time. I do not know if you agree with me, but for me, Saving time is one of the precious gifts I can have because since we are born and we try to understand a little bit how the world works, we understand that we have time limit, period. We are not here forever. And if you think yes, well, uh, I am going to make that uh, not very uh, happy. But yes, we have an end. We all have an end. We do not know. Perhaps some have more time, others have less. But it doesn't matter. We all know since we have conscious that we are here for a limited time period. So for me, saving time is one of the gifts I can better have because it gives us the ability to do more things I want to do. So how AI can help us saving time? Well, a lot. So um, 
there are a lot of scientific studies that tell us that around we spend around three hours a day doing automatic tasks that we don't like enjoying doing at all and it helps us a lot with productivity. And being like eight hours a global norm, we can discuss like 60 hours a month. It's the time we spend doing things we don't like in our work. So um, now we can enter into discussion of how AI is a controversy. Because when we say the word AI, most of the people say, you're going to replace us with machines. And I am saying that we are doing a lot of automated tasks. So I am not saying that it's right for the opposite. What we are going to do is to use that time, that 60 hours a month, it's a lot of time. We can do that time in order to use things and do things we like. For example, we can reduce labor time. Why do you think we are, we are start hearing about that we are perhaps going to work four hours, uh, four days uh, a week? This is because we are going to change the way how we are working. The other thing we can do, it's like um, learn other disciplines. Perhaps we have the chance if we have more time or, and something that perhaps we leave to the, the back, but it's very important, do the things we love. So AI is going to help us with all that time. But also something more important about saving time, it's that um, um, I do not know if you agree with me also on that topic, but um, I have a lot of friends and most of my dear friends are doctors and they spend uh, a lot of time also of their work, like saving lives and studying about a lot of disease and a lot of things uh, because it's their main profession and what they have to do. And uh, um, they spend hours perhaps not sleeping and have very like complicated lives because they need their life in order to keep us safe. So um, perhaps you are saying, okay, AI is sometimes good, sometimes bad. But in the case of medicine, um, AI is given the chance to help the healthcare system how it works. So um, there are a lot of medical treatments. There are a lot of advantages that we are having right in AI because AI is given the tools for doctors to have more tools, to have more analysis to have more tools to understand all the things they have to have in their brain and that's all in order to take decisions they take decision every day day night life or death decision so ai it's not so bad no ai can help us save time it can help us with the skill um, system healthcare and i know this in a very particular way and as being a protagonist so my father was diagnosed with cancer when I was six years old and he passed away when I was 11. This, of course, affected my entire family. Of course, first my father, later my family and also myself. And now we are now in the moment we, we can say that AI is helping doctors to save a lot of lives in these important diseases that does not affect directly my family, but around 10 million people 10 million deaths per year that we are having because of the disease. So AI can help them being more, um, creating better diagnosis, having a better um, advanced um, test and also uh, prevent, no? So we are having a lot of tools that before we don't have and we need to do, do, do this really in order to take better decisions with this and also because we are going to save a lot of lives and also we are going to give people a lot of more time. So also talking about time, um, I remember that the first times when I also started studying AI, um, the people, most of my teammates and colleagues always told me that, um, okay, Gami, you are going to replace us all with bots. So that's also the, the fear came back into place, no? So um, I think that technology is not here to replace us, not for the contrary. It's going to give us more tools. It gives us more uh, options. It would help us to save time, of course. And also um, because mainly uh, machines um, just are doing what we teach them to do. So they are not here to replace us. They are here to help us and also to be a complement of what we are doing. 
So I'm going to jump in into the last topic and I'm going to talk about dreams. So according to science, just 8% of the population achieve their dreams. So it's a, a little bit discouraging because we are all here in this life because we want to achieve dreams. Uh, but that road to achieve these goals, it's not very hard and it's difficult. We put all our passion every day, but not always we achieve that. So what we can do in order to achieve dreams? So the last month I have been starting working for a company that uses AI to make people and help people achieve their dreams. But you can ask me why and why I was focused about this. Mainly because I was told that just 80% of the people achieve their dreams, but when it takes two football players, the numbers are worse. Just the 1% of football players achieve their dream of being, becoming a professional one. So um, what we, how, how can we use AI to, to solve this problem? Mainly what we can do, that it's something that we can even think about before, it's giving them more opportunities. And we are going to be empowered by AI, of course, in order to put all the same players with the same possibilities in the same place. Um, and you can ask me why, because we're going to anticipate, we are going to know, we are going to understand them. And because of technology, we're going to connect points that ever before have the chance to be connected. And perhaps if we put the 1% to the 2%, we're going to do something and help a lot of people do what they love. And we're not just helping the players who are the center of, of, of this stuff, but also we are going to help clubs because we're going to make their time more efficient and they could see the stars of tomorrow, no? So that's why AI is a passion for me. And I think um, it's very important to understand that technology is not a complement of, of anything. Machines can't ever replace us because machines can learn from our brain. Of course, that's something that we all know right now. But something machines can never, never have the chance to replace is what we have here our hearts. It's the one, the, the only things that separate us from being a machine, the, the, the only thing that we have right here, it's the part that we know that becomes us a, a human being and it's the difference we have with them. So why we want to all, all the time be the same with them? Because we are not all, we, they are not here to replace us. They are here to embrace us and we need to understand what we can do in order to do that. So I think that perhaps we spend most of the time in the discussion in order to understand how we can like keep this off and see it as a threat and as a thing that it's going to erase us as a humankind and understand that once we understand that the unions makes the force is where we become unstoppable and more strong than anyone. Thank you very much. <laughs>